The pharmacy supplied the people of Jerusalem. It was a landmark for the care of the population. According to the historical documents, it was created shortly after the arrival of the Franciscan friars in the city in 1300. It is the pharmacy of the custody of the Holy Land. The structure was closed in the mid-900s, and today it is a wealth of artistic and archaeological heritage thanks to the vessels, the manuscripts, and all the documents accumulated over the centuries. Hence, an exhibition was organized in the halls of the Curia of the Friars. The idea originated from an opportunity offered by the University of Turin and the Order of Pharmacists of Turin, who became involved in the Museum Terra Sancta project about a year ago and started a research, a review of archival documents and a study of these vessels. The outcome is the discovery of a wealth of books that tell the story of the pharmacy as well as its scientific approach. Among the valuables chosen, a herbarium with the pharmaceutical ingredients, a manuscript with written recipes of alchemical symbols, and a more generic volume showing the close connection between the work of the pharmacist and that of the doctor. Over 400 vases kept by the custody. Some of them were selected. We wanted to choose models of the various schools, the different backgrounds and the different forms of these vessels. The pharmacy obviously needed vases to contain the different pharmaceutical formulas, liquids, solids, pills. The vessels represent all these different uses. Presentano questi diversi utilizzi. Before being exhibited, the vases must go through some restoration steps. The person in charge of these activities is Matus, Polish graduate of Nicholas Copernicus University in Turin, who has been a collaborator of the custody for the past five years. I restore the collection of Franciscan Pharmacy. We have over 420 uh, individual pieces. Um, almost all of them need uh, some uh, restoration. It's just a matter if uh, less or more. Um, in general, they have uh, missing parts like uh, rims, bottom parts, handles. I restore them using uh, gypsum with addition of um, polyvinyl glue. Okay, so then the next step uh, is painting the restored part and the final step is to protect the color using acrylic resin. The vessels date from the 17th or 18th century. The restoration of each vase could last from a few days to up to several weeks. In the laboratory of the custody, archaeologists and restorers work daily to ensure that this heritage is not lost so that it can be passed down to future generations over the centuries.